Welcome to Lesson 5 of our short video series on how to program your new GT5 3-axis gyro. This series of videos will take you from the basic setup of the GT5 to your first flight with this gyro. A 6-channel or greater transmitter is recommended for the GT5. Computer-controlled transmitters work the best for helicopters, although this is not a requirement. Now let's get into the basic setup of the GT5. Go into the servo type menu to set up the basic parameters. First we will set up the servo type for the tail rotor. In this menu, you will see three different pulse widths, 1500, 760, and 970. 1500 is for wide pulse servos, 760 is for narrow pulse servos. Check with your servos manufacturer to determine the pulse width of your servo and set the GT5 accordingly. Scroll to the servo speed menu. Check the speed of your servo and adjust the setting to match or be slightly higher than your servo's specifications. Now scroll to the servo frequency menu. Again, check the servo specifications and set the GT5 to the maximum that the servo can handle. If you cannot find the specification, set the parameter at 166 MHz. A higher setting could overheat the servo. Next, we will set the swash plate type. Be sure you set this for the type of swash plate your machine has. If you have a 140 degree swash plate, set the GT5 to 135 degrees. The Raptor 30, 50, and 90 have a 90 degree swash plate. The Mini Titan E325 and the X50 should be set to 120 degrees. 135 is for the new Raptor G4 Nitro and G4 E720 helicopters. Scroll to swash plate servo frequency. If you are using a digital servo, start with this value at 200. However, if your swash plate has tracking problems, lower the value until the tracking problem goes away. As with the tail servo, obtain the specifications for your servo and set the GT5 to the same value as the servos or slightly higher. To link your Spectrum receiver, first scroll to the Tool menu and select the receiver type icon. Please note, the GT5 is compatible with three types of receivers, Standard Receivers and Spectrum DSM-2 receivers. Futaba S-Bus. For the Spectrum system, select Spectrum and then scroll to the menu that shows DX7 slash MC22. Select DX7. Next, move to the Binding function. Double tap the touchpad and the satellite receiver's LEDs will start blinking. At the same time, turn on the binding mode on your transmitter. When the LEDs on the receivers turn solid orange, binding is complete. Return to the main menu. You can now see the functions being controlled by your transmitter. If you use a standard receiver, First, link your receiver to the transmitter as you normally would. Go to the Receiver Type menu and select the 5-channel receiver icon. Your system is now operational. Futaba S-Bus systems are set up in the same manner. However, please select S-Bus instead of 5-channel during setup. 